I was fortunate enough in the very beginning, it was the early stages of music videos. So they called and said, would you like to try some choreography on, you know, Van Halen or David Lee Roth or something like this? And I said, yeah, sure, I'd, I'd love to do that kind of thing. So I tried it and I really loved it. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of how it all began. As a choreographer, you worked with Michael Jackson making music history together. The 25th anniversary of the Bad Tour will be in September. Could you share one of your wonderful memories in collaborating with Michael Jackson? Uh, I collaborated with Michael Jackson for 17 years, so it's very difficult for me to pick one memory in all that time. Uh, interesting uh, that you mentioned the Bad Tour. Last night, actually, I went to a private screening at Sony. The Bad Tour was Michael Jackson's first solo tour. Uh, prior to that, I had done a few wonderful projects with him. I danced uh, in Beat It. I was one of the lead gang leaders in Beat It. I was also an uh, assistant choreographer in a zombie and thriller. I did that, you know. And I, so I got to know Michael really well. And from that time, after Thriller, where I was just the assistant choreographer, he then call, called me and asked me if I would conceive and create um, a video for him to a song called Smooth Criminal. And then I did one for The Way You Make Me Feel and multiple other pieces that were in his short film, Moonwalker. And then his first tour came up and he asked me if I would direct it and choreograph it. And I did, and that was the bad tour. But I went on to work with him for many, many years after that, creating performances for him on the Grammys, on the Super Bowl, a couple commercials for Japan. Uh, the last thing that I did with him was at the end of the 90s and I directed and choreographed a video uh, that became number one around the world called Blood on the Dance Floor. You ended up uh, directing a large number of dancers, actually, in Smooth Criminal. What was the largest dance ensemble you've worked with, and what was that like? Well, I guess the largest, <laughs> the largest uh, group that I've ever given any direction to was when I when I choreographed the Super Bowl for Michael Jackson, and I had to talk to all of the people at the Super Bowl in the stadium because we did a, a, a card trick where um, Michael loved children and so one of the things we did was we had people, uh, all of the people in the audience begin to hold up these cards and as they went around the whole entire stadium it turned into a chain of almost paper cutouts of little children holding hands, you know. That would have been the greatest mass of people and what is that, 50,000 people or something? I don't even know. You've also been a creative force in Madonna's performances. Madonna Anna was also another wonderful creative being who I had the opportunity to work with for many years, I think about 12 or 13 years. We got along really, really well. And I went from that to then choreographing a video for her called Express Yourself. And then, let me think what happened next. Oh, she asked me to choreograph and direct the Blonde Ambition Tour. And that was the next piece that I did for her. So I think I was the only director choreographer that she's ever used to did the entire show myself. All the other shows that she's done after that, um, she's hired like five or six or seven different choreographers. Um, let me think, what did I do? Oh, I, then I did the, the movie Evita for her. I've done a lot of other projects with her, but Academy Awards, I can't think, other things, but you know, it all kind of becomes a big blur after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the, then you have a new project, actually, which you wrote and directed, I understand? Yes, it's about to wrap up, actually. Yes, I was approached by Cirque du Soleil uh, to create a dance show for them, and I worked with them for a few years, creating the piece, writing the piece. It was about Elvis Presley, and I think it's been over 2,000-some performances, at least, and maybe close to 3,000 performances, and uh, over a million people have, have gone to the show, so it's, it was a very exciting opportunity. And I really enjoyed having the opportunity to work with acrobats. I'd never done anything like that before. I like it when I'm challenged, when I have a bit of a task that I have to overcome, you know. I find that my juices get flowing a little better and I have a much better time because I push myself to places where I thought maybe I wouldn't, would never go. Loving the silent tears, and I thought, you know what, this seems, Seems interesting. I like the idea of having a show like this and and uh, what's behind it. But when I was first approached, I thought, oh, this won't be difficult because it was poems that had been created into songs and dances that would accompany them. As we went on, it got bigger and bigger and bigger so that it then became a story attached to the songs and 
the cast went from one size to a bigger size to a bigger size to a bigger size. So now we're talking about something that's you know fairly close to almost a cast of a hundred or more when you figure the orchestra and the principals and the ensemble and the two extra companies that we're bringing in. So uh, from the first conversation to today, we've really expanded this project.